Hi, my name is Ali Shirsava, and in this video we're going to talk about Miller capacitance of a MOSFET, Miller plateau, and why it is important. Okay, so if you consider we've got our gate drive here, we've got our gate drive resistance that we sold and we've got our MOSFET. <clears throat> Now, um, let's assume that we are at off period, so this point for now is, is connected to ground and the MOSFET is off. Let's also assume for simplicity that we've got around 100 volts DC up here. Um, now, if you consider that we have got a capacitance here, that's internal capacitance of the MOSFET that is from gate to source, so that's your gate source capacitance, and in order to turn the MOSFET on we have to push current through here, down here, charge this to above its threshold voltage, uh, typically let's say 10 to 15 volts in order to fully turn it on. So it seems to be like a very simple RC uh, network, you have got a gate drop that is going to push current and that is how we turn the MOSFET on. What happens, however, though, that there is also a gate to drain capacitance here. Now, when the MOSFET is off, if you just look at this circuit, this point is connected to ground. That is discharged because the MOSFET is off and that is connected to ground. This point is also connected to ground, but this point is at plus 100 volts. So what will happen during the off period is that this gate drain capacitance will charge, the current will go from there to there and at this point here during off period we've got plus 100 volts. Now let us consider what happens when we turn the MOSFET on and the potential here starts falling to a point where we are effectively connecting drain to source. So this end we're going to connect to source when we turn it fully on. So here I've got a very big capacitor just for demonstration purposes. Imagine you've got a capacitor there. During the off period, this point is 100 volts. Now, when it starts to turn off, but bigger part of turn on, you're disconnecting this point and you're putting it there. So what you've got is you've got plus 100 volts there and 100 volts less than this point up here. So you're effectively taking this and you're connecting it there it will look something like this but now here is plus 100 volts because it used to be up there and therefore the potential here is 100 volts below the potential there. You can see clearly now that the gate driver has to do a lot more work. Not only the gate driver has to charge this up to let's say 10 or 15 volts, it's going to have to charge this one up to 10 or 15 volts also. However, this is sitting 100 volts below what it's supposed to be. And that is the effect on Miller Plateau, right? And that's so, so current starts to pull through here in order to charge this from effectively 100 volts below what it's supposed to be to 15 volts above the zero point. And therefore what happens is we start turning things on. At some point, this is my gate, the current that is pouring is all the work that this can do is to basically unfill this and fill it up in the other direction and therefore it plateaus. And only when this has completely been taken to zero and back up to plus 15, is when the gate can rise. Obviously this is not binary, it's not connected to 100 and 0. Effectively, here you have 100 volts and, you, and as you turn it on you are effectively pulling this down and therefore this has to do more and more work in order to fill this up so that it can turn and that is what Miller Plateau is. Um, during the turn off period exactly the opposite happens. So you get another plateau trying to connect this from this point and connecting it back up there. The issue is that the current and the voltages during this period are non-zero and therefore the longer you take during this switching transition of the middle plateau, the bigger your switching losses and that's why we would like to minimize this and of course it's dependent on the gate drain capacitance of the uh, device that we buy and of course um, the uh, voltage. 
on the drain. If this is a thousand volts, and then, then you have to charge it from minus thousand up to plus 15. So that was the explanation of Miller Platinum and Miller Capacitance. Now we are going to go to the lab and we're going to show you what happens in real life. Okay, so here we are in the lab and we're going to show the effect of uh, Miller Capacitance uh, of the MOSFET. Um, what we are going to do is we're going to change the gate resistor and as you increase the gate resistor obviously it will take longer for the um, uh, for the MOSFET to turn on. Now at the moment what you see is a gate resistor of uh, zero ohms and you can see that it is turning on very fast. Now let me make this a little bit faster so that we can have a slower so that we can have a look at it and there you go that is the Miller plateau and what is happening is that the current is coming out of the gate driver into the MOSFET and is charging the uh, gate source capacitor of the MOSFET and as the MOSFET turns on the um, gate uh, drain capacitor will start shifting down and one end as we explained and that is the plateau that you see. Now this is quite fast so you can see it but if I slow it down very much by putting a very big gate resistor so that the RC network that is being formed has got a much longer time constant you can clearly see the shape. There we go let me make it faster now you can really see the Miller plateau here. So at this point, the, this is my, my gate drive signal. So at this point, I uh, turn on. At around here, the MOSFET tries to turn on and the uh, gate drain capacitor tries to get connected down to the source. And at the, it is just as we explained, the current from the gate drive now during this plateau is pouring in in order to, to get the gate source and the gate drain capacitor all the way up to plus 15. Eventually it gets there and you can see that after that it's, it's charging the rest of the capacitor um, uh, until, until it turns on. Uh, so let me go back to zero ohms. Again, you will see that the, uh, just because I'm pushing more current in faster, the plateau um, shortens. Of course, um, again, as we explained, the length that it takes for you to turn the MOSFET on and off determines your switching losses and that is why it's important that we turn it on and off quickly. So thank you very much for listening and hope to see you at one of our workshops.